What's going on YouTube? Team G Sail back with another video. We're going to be doing a game room tour. It's been over a year since my last one. A lot has changed. Uh, if you've watched my previous ones, you will see some similarities, but there definitely is some new stuff. So let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, we're going to start in the original corner. Uh, my NES collection has grown a little bit. Uh, in my last video, I did sell some of my games off. Uh, and I've recently acquired a lot of those back. I am still missing about 15 games to get the collection back to complete, but it's uh, it's going pretty good overall. Um, I did get a copy of Action 52. I had originally sold it off and then got it back into the collection, which is awesome. Um, also got these really cool Mario and Luigi figures. These are vintage from the 1980s. My cousin actually sent them to me from the US, so shout out to him for that. Um, and also started to build up my retro game, uh, my unlicensed game collection again after getting rid of almost all of those again. Uh, I've had to move my Atari collection. It outgrew its original spot. So right now it's here. Obviously you can see this doesn't work either. I'm really going to have to figure out a new way to store my Atari 2600 games because this isn't that effective either. My Super Nintendo collection has grown as well. It's pretty much at its capacity right now. I'm actually stacking some games on top there. So uh, I will put the number of games I have for each collection uh, at the bottom. Uh, you'll see it pop up there. I've had to move my N64 out of here because I outgrew this area. So right now I have my Genesis collection, which has actually grown quite a bit since last time and uh, did have some pretty notable additions, including a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist, which I've added to the collection. I also got an awesome copy of a little stuck there. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, which is a really cool addition. And uh, of course, I do have the Action 52 for the Genesis as well since my last video. My ColecoVision collection's grown as well, and it's had to come down here as well as some Odyssey, Atari 5200, and some TI-99 games as well. All right, guys, my console area hasn't changed a too, or too much in, in general, but over here I have my CRT TV running the NES 101, my favorite RPG for the system, Dragon Warrior 3, is on there right now, including the original Nintendo. Everything is hooked up here through the Switch box on the top, which is resting below the power glove right there. I also have a sealed Aladdin deck enhancer and a really cool Zaxxon arcade on the side. This TV is running the Intellivision, the ColecoVision, the Sega Master System, and of course the Atari 2600. My controller display hasn't changed really. It's still sitting up here. And some awesome artwork from my daughter that she did and some really cool framed posters that my wife had gotten. The middle TV, again, hasn't changed too much right now. We have the GameCube playing Crash Nitro Kart. We got the original Xbox. We have the Panasonic 3DO, the GameCube, the PS2, the Sega Saturn, and the Atari Jaguar all running through this switch box right here. And of course, I have the Mattel Hyperscan, which I do not have a controller for at the moment, but it is pretty cool as a little display item. And my last CRT TV, identical to the other one, is running uh, right now Chrono Trigger uh, for the Super Nintendo. Uh, we have a Virtual Boy, which is functional here, and a lot of consoles, the Genesis Model 2, the Genesis Model 1, the Super Nintendo, TurboGrafx-16, N64, PS1, and of course a VHS to watch movies on, all running through the Switch box on the top, uh, being accompanied by Rob, and my favorite VHS, my original childhood copy of The Wizard, and of course above we have my Tiger handheld and other handheld collectibles. I've added a number to this since my last one, and I'm actually out of space, so I also might have to rethink this handheld collection as well, because there are obviously a lot more to add. One area that's grown massively is this collection. My 360 collection is really getting to its limits. Once I hit here, I don't have any more room for 360 stuff. I really am only looking for a few more games to add to this collection, but it is growing. I do have some awesome uh, Frogger handheld arcades over here, tabletop arcades, and then my PS2 collection, which I've contemplated trading in because it just keeps growing and growing. I keep finding them cheap. As well, my PS3 collection at the bottom is growing uh, exponentially as well, and obviously I'm going to outgrow this shelf really soon. I still haven't got a TV here. I don't remember if I had one in my last video, but it was broken and I have not replaced it yet. Uh, so this area is a work in progress. I did recently find some super awesome Ninja Turtle water bottles, which are just out on display as well. And my wife got me these absolutely amazing VHS displays uh, that light up in the dark, Goonies, and of course there's an Indiana Jones ones over there. Right now this area is a work in progress. The Wii U and the Wii have been brought upstairs so the kids can play it. And some of the other consoles are just kind of sitting here right now because there's no TV to play them on. 
The Wii collection has not changed. It is still 100% complete since the last time I did this video. Um, not much to add here, but if you haven't seen my previous game room tour, 1,274 games. This is a complete Nintendo Wii collection with an awesome custom sign that my wife made for me and uh, some really cool Nintendo Power posters in the background. Otherwise, the, the main sort of highlight games are all on top, um, including some pretty uncommon, expensive, and hard to find ones. And recently found these super awesome Mario and Luigi figures, which just are going to adorn the front here. But otherwise, this is what a complete Wii set looks like. Now, the consoles that are on display are actually non-functioning consoles. I found them, they were broken, and instead of throwing them away, they look pretty cool on display now. So, that's the way this collection works down. Uh, the corner over here not really changed as much as well. I still have my arcade. It has a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, header, but it's not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade. It's actually Golden Tee. It is functional, but we have it off because it makes too much darn noise. I got a, a complete Nintendo Entertainment Box action set here. Um, my movie Goonies poster hasn't changed, although I do have a wizard one. I just need to get a frame for it. I have some pretty awesome Nintendo strategy guides and uh, winning tips from Consumer Guide here in my book area. A really cool Blades of Steel. A header for an arcade and then an awesome glass Pac-Man arcade display as well as some really cool slot machine headers as well. Over here is my Nintendo Power Collection which is growing as well. I've actually had to go down to the third level now. Also some pretty interesting box stuff. This is a really random shelf. It houses a lot of things that just kind of don't fit. I have a box Game Gear, box DS's, some really cool uh, pinball machines, some uh, type board game type machines, and of course I uh, recently found a box Socrates and Aura Interactor. I have a TI-99 here which I do not have the hookups for so it's more of a display item. And some of the ColecoVision uh, expansion modules. And then of course an awesome ALF and Garfield plushie make this area finished off. All right, the last major shelf I have here is my original Xbox collection, which is almost at the very bottom here. It's, uh, again, I will put the totals here. I think it's around 600 games, getting close to it, including some marquee titles here. Since my last video, I've added Curse the Eye of Isis. I believe I've also added Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. So that's really, really nice as well. Uh, I do want a complete collection, but it will not fit on the shelf. So I might have to rethink that if I ever do get that way. I do have a very small amount of Xbox One games down in the corner. And then of course some Xbox demo discs, but really get close to finishing off this collection and I'm gonna keep working on it. If you watched my last video, I recently found a super awesome Stiga Stanley Cup set. So this is here. I might actually keep this in my collection. I love these table hockey tables. I'd love to get an actual big one, but for now this is really cool. I have a really nice crash pinball machine that I found thrifting as well. And of course a pretty awesome Sega handheld bag that carries a bunch of Genesis games as well. This area hasn't changed too much. I have a Commodore 64 over here. Um, I also have a, an, an old PC as well. They both work and are functional. My cassette tape collection is maxed out. I really am not adding any more. Uh, two working boom boxes, some really cool uh, modern little tabletop arcades. Also some uh, a, a speak and spells and I found a spell and math and a read and spell. I don't know, I have a weird affinity for those. They're just straight out of the 80s and really cool. I do have some PC games in here as well but they're kind of full and they're really not well displayed. And of course, the only real toy I have in my collection is the Ninja, the Ninja Turtles van. I had this as a kid, the party wagon. It's just, I love it. So I, the one toy I keep. And of course, a talk boy. These things are classic, straight out of 90s, straight out of the late 90s, and uh, definitely looks great in the collection. The last shelf over here, the N64 collection, which is grown to over 150, has now had to be moved over here. Um, and I do have room to expand it, as well as my PS1 collection. Everything else on this shelf is a mishmash. I have my Game Gear collection here, which is growing pretty rapidly. I have small PSP, small GameCube, small Wii U and GBA collections, a very small 3DS and DS collections down here. Um, and otherwise, I don't know if this shelf will stick around for much longer. I might have to build a bigger one to kind of really fit the collection. I have my uh, uh, tube TV over here, my console TV, which actually is running a beta player right now, playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original. On top, I have an, an Odyssey 2, a Coleco Gemini, uh, a Unisonic Pong machine, another Pong machine, and of course, a Sony beta player. These are actually very hard to find in great condition, and I'm happy to have this one. And I have a small little shelf here to hold controllers and expansion packs for any system I want. I do have a Ghostbusters car as well, although it is missing a few pieces, and I'd like to complete it. 
The last room is the board game room and it has not changed a ton. However, as you can see from this wall, I have no more space. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with some of these board games. I have contemplated maybe having a sale and selling off some, some of the ones I'm never ever going to use. But for the time being, they're just piling up and I've actually stopped buying them because I just can't fit them anymore. Um, over here, I do have room for a shelf here, and I'm kind of maybe thinking about putting one more, but it might be smart just to pare down some of the collection. As you can see, it is floor to ceiling and takes up the vast majority of the room. I think I'm around six to 700 games now, and um, I don't really have any that I'm still looking for. There might only be one or two that I really, really want in the collection. Over here is my area where I do my filming. I have a Wii Starlight. Uh, unit over here although it is 100% for display I have already sold off some of the guts in the inside to it so it is just a cool display it will never actually be functional and of course we have a Pac-Man arcade up over here uh, just a small little assortment of random toys that I liked and I found cool to put on display including a massive Wreck-It Ralph I found this awesome Sopranos poster at a garage sale and of course my Tupac above the rim poster which I just absolutely love them I don't have a spot for it at the moment but I don't I want to keep it out on display Otherwise, that's it for the board game room, and uh, it hasn't changed a ton since last time. Alright guys, that's pretty much the game room. I do have an ottoman here. I really highly recommend these for storing things. I have some awesome boxes in here to hold all types of random things from controllers to overflow handheld to cords to, in this case, some power pads. And underneath there, there's a bunch of stuff as well. And some really nice uh, Nintendo covered couches that we use to hang out and play some games. And recently found an awesome Blockbuster Beach Ball, uh, fresh from the Scream 2 release in uh, 1998. You don't find Blockbuster merch as much as you used, so it is kind of cool to see this. Otherwise, guys, thanks for tuning in to my 2022 Game Room Tour. I'll do another tour a year from now. Always appreciate the support. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. Smash that like button to show some support. Feel free to comment below with anything you liked in the collection or pictures of your collection. I always like seeing what other people do for storage because as you can see, I do have a storage problem and it always is interesting to see what other people are doing to store games, especially if it's Atari 2600, GameCube, uh, sorry, Game Gear, or uh, anything of that nature. Otherwise, guys, thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Bye now.